Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chronicles of the Range Monkey. It's Neil and Natalie out here on the Widener Range doing a little shooting, making some videos, having some fun. And a few weeks ago, I shot a drill that you get to shoot today. Awesome. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at LuckyGunner.com. All right, so a few weeks ago, I shot John Johnston's uh, from his test and standards class called Dot Assessment Madness. Okay. Uh, this is not a drill. This is an assessment. Uh, and so we don't shoot it as a drill because we wanna get better at this drill. We shoot it because we wanna assess where we are. And okay. this tests a whole lot of different things, okay? Uh, we're gonna, there's some reloads that are gonna be involved, which okay. I've already t shared with you. So you've got four full mags sitting here. <laughs> and Natalie came out to the range today without her mag carrier and I didn't yeah. wanna run to the house. So we're gonna load from the table, okay? okay. Uh, but the way that this is gonna start, you're gonna start with a fully loaded gun. And, and I know in John's, it, there's a specific number you start within the gun and I don't remember what it is. So we're just gonna start with a fully loaded gun and, and do the best that we can here. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around, we're gonna use the ASP target here. So we're gonna use the ASP target for this and at the beep, you're gonna draw and you're gonna shoot one, one time. And then you're gonna transition and you're gonna shoot 10, 10 times. And then you're gonna transition back to two, two times. And then transition to nine, nine times. Okay. Three, eight, four, seven, five, six. You, so you shoot each target the number of times it says on there. Okay. Now here's the big challenge with this is you reload along the way. And so you're gonna go dry. You can, some people are smart enough and fast enough to do this math. I am not, <laughs> uh, you being my spawn, I know you're not either. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so you're gonna go dry somewhere in the nine, uh, okay. but you're gonna be four, five, six shots into the nine you're gonna reload, then you gotta get the rest of the nine. So you don't start over, you finish nine. So if you've got three so shots counting. on nine when you go empty, yeah. you get then you put more into it till you get to nine. Then you're gonna to come to, to three, eight, and you're gonna reload up in here again somewhere else. So that's one of the big challenges that I'm gonna share with you that, okay. um, that that's at least where I was challenged in this. <laughs> uh, misses at a second, and I think you can't miss more than five or you're DQ'd. Okay. You shoot this at three yards, so it's not a far shot, but what it's gonna practice, what you're gonna learn is you get a, a draw to first shot yep. on a small target. Then you got a transition and a transition and a transition and a tra so tons of transitions, reloading, and okay. the cognitive load, the mental load that you're gonna have in your head here is gonna be a lot. So it, it this is anxiety uh, <laughs> an anxiety driven assessment yeah. for a lot of folks. So have fun with it, keep up with it the best you can. I will try to keep track of your shots and make sure that we shoot the right amount. Awesome. I'm not gonna give you any cues during that unless you start shooting the wrong circle or something. I'll I'll holler at you, but okay. yeah. uh, for all but you're gonna as soon as the beep hits, you're basically on your own okay so, so do you understand what counting. you're doing yep yeah. <laughs> all right that's fair all right let's do it we don't shoot this more than once every year or six months or something like that because it's 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 a huge ammo yeah. i mean you're gonna shoot 50 some seven rounds something like that i don't know i'd have to do more math yeah than that <laughs> uh, but this is really to see where you are we don't want you to practice this all the time and get really good at this one thing Right. You, then you want to break it down. You want to work on your draws to first shot. And you want to work on transitions and you want to work on reloads mm -hmm. and you want to work on that mental side of the shooting with the, you know, the math and all of that, but yeah. do all that. And now you're putting it all together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ever since the years of COVID, we've had to watch our round counts. They've had to be lower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. Okay. Are you ready? All right. I hope so. Yes. No. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Stand by.
All right. And you got me with the brass on the last one. <laughs> All right. Whew. Clear. My arms are tired. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of grip. So that was a 5838. 5838. 5838. All right. Um, Missed a few. So, so our one is a line break. Uh, th we got we one out there. So one. There's two. one out there. So uh, what do we get? One, two, three, three, four, four five. five. Six. We're it gonna say might be five or six, yeah. Yeah, we're going to say six. Gonna I mean, when you got a ragged hole, you got a ragged hole, right? Yeah. So if we add six to 58.38, uh, that's one. That's a minute four thirty-eight. Okay. So right at a minute is pretty salty. Yeah. Uh, I think that's good. And, and you didn't have, I think you can have five out. Well, wait a minute. Is it five out or six out that gives you a DQ? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, we're going to... If it's a DQ, yeah. it's a DQ, but you still shoot it anyway. Yeah, so. I feel like I learned a lot from this. And yeah, the transitions were kind of difficult and it does make you work on that. And you know, I'm not, I wouldn't be hurt at all if I was DQ'd for this, cause at 10, I got really excited. Yep. <laughs> I forgot that, I forgot about the dog. Ah, so that's what I was bit. waiting for you to say. I knew that, about it, I knew about it, but on 10, I forgot. Every one of the, so your five, all of them are in the bottom. At that six o'clock, the four are all below the mm -hmm. half, the three are there below, the yeah. one there below, the two you got good. Yeah, so dot offset is a thing that you really got to focus on when you run this as well. Yeah, yeah so I, I did learn a lot from this. I like this drill. That's a pretty fun drill, right? Yeah, if you got a box of ammo <laughs> yeah, just lying it, around. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to take 57 odd rounds or whatever that is. Yeah. Um, it's a fun one to run and it gives you a whole lot. It gets you an idea where you're at. Now, when John Johnson runs this, I've seen him run it in like the 30s. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, bet if you practice this a couple of times, you would get good at it pretty quick. So that's why you don't want to do exactly, it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, John Johnson's one of the best shooters I know. There's that guy's yeah. a, a wizard with a gun. <laughs> uh, and so it's, it's kind of a cool one. So for us average Joe humans to run this once in a while to feel it. Uh, mm -hmm. and get an I idea of what we're dealing with. Yes, it's a bunch of ammo and you get through a lot of that, but it's a it's a pretty fun one. Yeah. And you really get to learn a lot. So. Yeah, and the reloads are really nice. Because, um, you know, you don't work on reloads too much unless it's a drill for working on reloads, it seems like. Yep. Um, but another thing that I liked practicing about it was, I don't think I've ever shot like 10 in a row, like while I'm testing something, you know, I think yeah. it's usually been like, you know, six or seven at the most. And there's just not a lot of times that you can practice and dump out 10 rounds right. in exactly. one cir yep. circle. And so you've got to stay mentally in it. And one of the yep. things I was really proud of you, Natalie, is you got all the numbers right. I hoped I did. I was, yeah, no, I was sitting there counting and I'm like, oh, she got, and, and so every time you got to a reload, I'm like, oh, is she going to lose track? Yeah. No, but you didn't. You stuck so, in there and you did it right. I so. wonder if you can see on the camera that I was mouthing along. I was like, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six. Well, that's seven, what eight, I, eight, yeah. Eight. So, but. No uh, cheating in a gunfight. No, nope, exactly. Exactly. And you did the right thing. I think you got it good. You know where you are. We'll probably run this again in six, seven months or yeah, maybe when the weather turns warm again, because it's going to snow here in the next few weeks. Yeah. Uh, maybe next spring we'll run it again and see where you are. Are. that was fun but Let's now we have it. a baseline to know where you are you're at about a minute four is uh, you know and this is this is kind of hard because you kind of chewed everything up there i mean theoretically we could yeah. say one two are out uh and th that's hard to see yeah it seems it seems yeah. like two are out i don't know if that yeah. second one's a line break but you know so, either way i but, like it cool all right well done kid <laughs> see you next time see you next time